Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with The Hound. Hope everyone's having a great evening. Uh, this is your preview video for the, um, the June 9th Friday Whatnot Coin Auction. Uh, so we are about 24 hours away from this event, but I wanted to take some time to uh, go over all the lots. We actually have, this is probably um, my largest auction that I have done in terms of quantity. Um, and it's probably one of the deepest as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited uh, to do this one. This one's going to be a little bit longer, probably like an hour and a half. Uh, we have four blockbuster giveaways for tomorrow. So if anything, if you don't want to bid on anything, come for the giveaways because your boy Blue's going to hook it up pretty big. Uh, I don't know if you guys were here last Friday. Um, my last giveaway uh, was one where I just threw a bunch of stuff at it. They, there were some nice type coins, some new moderns, some silver, some rare metals and tokens. It, I, I am doing that again, but I'm doing it times four. Uh, so each and every single lot can have a value of somewhere in that $30, $40, $50 dollar range, all the way up to 100 bucks or more. Uh, so we are giving away the ship, and therefore we are calling it the kitchen sink giveaway. Uh, so I just based on that, I'm excited to do that, um, and I look forward to uh, giving away four superb lots for tomorrow night. Uh, so if it's your first time um, with the whole whatnot thing, okay, it's a platform that's independent for uh, for uh, selling and buying. Um, it's been my favorite platform uh to do the selling and to do buying i've been buying quite a bit of inventory from some of the other uh streamers as well and um you know it's it's like ebay but much cleaner <laughs> because everybody has issues with ebay and uh you know some good some bad you hear a lot of bad because you know when um, when something bad happens that news t tends to travel a little bit quickly but if you've never done it before and you want to check it out um, yeah, feel free to do so. I'll, I have a referral link actually down below, um, in the description box. So you just have to have to hit show more. It'll expand it out and it'll be one of the, uh, the hyperlinks I have in there. If you sign up under my name, you get $15 in store credit that you could use immediately. Uh, and generally it is used immediately upon your first, uh, purchase. So I want you guys to, uh, Come check it out. Uh, it's going to be a, an awesome curated experience. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of great people in there. And we uh, yeah, we like to hook people up. Um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully I get to see a few new faces for uh, tomorrow's event. Uh, so, uh, we have damn near 60 lots to sell tomorrow, uh, including the four kitchen sink uh, items. Uh, so, I figure we're just going to go ahead and uh, go right through them. Everything... Uh, by now, by the time you watch this video, everything has been um, uh, designated a stock number and it's already loaded onto my whatnot stream. So I'll also have that link down below if you wanted to go to the actual, um, uh, to my actual sale. Uh, it won't be active, of course, because that's till tomorrow night, uh, but you could always bookmark the stream. All right, so go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and check and see what we have here. Um, thank you guys again for tuning in for tonight. Uh, so we have a number of various nice mint state candy half dollars. So we have a 64p, another 64p. Again, you know, some of them have a little bit of toning. Uh, the first one has a few white spots on there, but you know, if you're just looking for uh, something to add to your stack at a, you know, what I would say is an affordable price, that one might work out. There's another 64, so we got three 64s. We have a 66, beautiful toned example right there. That's a 40% silver. Check out the reverse. You have lots of great color, lots of reds, yellows, a little bit of green and blue in there. That's kind of like a dog dish of various colors. Uh, we also have a nice gold tone 64 right here, but when you flip it over, boom, blue, yellows, very, very nice. So we have those ones there. We also have a couple of these uh, very scarce uh, New York World's Fair holders. Uh, now they are missing the 1964 quarters, but I will fill those in, all right? So 
At one point, someone had taken these two coins out. I don't know why. This was uh, before I even owned these. Um, but, you know, the, these have some pretty nice toning. Uh, just a word of note, the nickels have a little bit of green corrosion on each of them. And I, I'm not going to take them out to uh, fix them or do anything like that. Um, they're just going to stay in there because they are, they're the original coins to the set. So we have two sets. We'll be auctioning them both off um, separately. These 64 Kennedys are nice BU condition coins. And then you're going to see two 1964 BU quarters in there as well. And then uh, due to popular demand, because the last one that we sold um, pretty well last Friday, we have two more of these 50th anniversary uh, Kennedy half sets. So these are 2014s. There are both P and D minted coins. Let me go ahead and take one out here for you. Uh, one is sealed and the other one um, kind of sealed, but the, uh, the whatever the tab there pulled apart. So that's what that looks like. Beautiful BU. Uh, these are very low mintage because they're part of the NIFC designated coins, which are not intended for circulation. Um, so this is a, a really popular set. A lot of people buy these to grade the coins and uh, those high graded specimens, if they, if they earn the top pop grade are worth a lot of money. So we have two of these available for uh, tomorrow. We have one that's not sealed, one that is sealed. All right, so we're going to uh, kick things off here with uh, this platform with uh, some really nice world coins. So we have a, um, what is this, Barbados Specimen Proof 1 Cent. So again, very, very beautiful looking coin. Let's get in a little bit closer there. Uh, beautiful, rich copper color with um, deep cameo, frost, really, really pretty coin. Uh, we also have a 1939 Great Britain Sixpence. Uh, these are 50% silver. Really nice, solid earlier date. I would put this one about AU, about uncirculated. And it, we have coins across all price levels. So, you know, the, the more bargain kind of geared um, collectors... Feel free to come in. Uh, there will be coins that certainly will not break the bank. If you got that $15 credit using my referral link, you're good as gold. Uh, and also, due to popular demand, I ended up finding a couple more of what they call the Tomback Nickels. Um, so as you guys know, these were made out of nickel prior to 1942. And uh, just like the U.S., um, the uh, Canadian, Royal Canadian Mint needed to ration some of the uh, nickel uh, for the war effort. So what they did was they substituted 88% um, copper, 12% zinc. And that's, uh, that's what you call the Tomback um, composition. So 1942, that they used the same beaver reverse uh, on this one here as they did prior to that. Uh, but in 1943, they went for the V for victory reverse for a couple of years, all the way up to 1945. So we got those two there. Very nice specimens, too. Uh, we have a 1964, uh, just choice gem, Portugal. Uh, this is, what, a $5? $5, $5 uh, coin right here. Um, it's, uh, it's nickel, I believe, base metal. Uh, not silver, but check out the uh, cartwheel luster. It's, it's about the size of a quarter. It's a really pretty coin, and it's got the uh, the ship on there. Uh, you know, nautical geared type coins are very popular right now. We have a couple more here. Uh, we have, these are Bahamas. So 1973, these are like satin specimen uh, finish coins. Uh, very low mintage. Uh, we have a 25 cents quarter. And we also have the square-shaped um, 15 cents, a very oddball kind of uh, denomination there. Again, these two coins will be sold separately. Uh, and they both have that really nice um, satin specimen finish on there they, that is actually quite scarce. We have a few uh, really nice Indian head sets, all with full liberty. Uh, so the, each one of them, at the very least, grades 
VF. Uh, I would say VF30 for a lot of them. We have a 1908, 1907, and a 1904, which is, this one's probably closer to an XF. Uh, very, very beautiful. Lots of detail on there, on each one. Problem free, every single one. Great for type, or just to have an example that's not gonna break the bank. We have three different ones for tomorrow's auction. Uh, one of my favorites, and then what I did differently is I designated, if you went to, say, my stream, to look at my uh, my auction listings, which are all these coins we're talking about today, uh, I have a few that are designated as uh, featured coins. They're going to be the best ones to keep an eye out for. I have about maybe five or six featured coins for tomorrow's uh, auction. Uh, this is one of them right here, a very scarce date, 1930S. Lincoln Wheat Scent. This is a red brown mint state coin. This coin in mint state red is worth thousands of dollars, and even coins in this condition, um, you know, they, they go up precipitously, um, you know, depending on what, what you guys need. So, 1930S, very tough date, and uh, this one should do well. One of our featured coins for tomorrow. Uh, we have a number of Buffalo Nickels. We have a 1918. 1930, this one here is like a fine plus, so like a fine 15, uh, probably close to VF20. So it has three quarters of the horn on the reverse. We have a 1930 Philly. Again, Buffalo Nichols, very popular on my stream. Uh, we have a pair of 1935 S's, okay, both very strong VF plus condition coins. This one's a little bit better. Uh, just a shade better, you know, uh, they, they're both like really right on par with each other. We also have a 1936 Philly, uh, just again, another solid VF coin there. And we also have a couple 1937s. Uh, so we have a 37 P again, nice VF coin, very strong, full, uh, full horn on there. And this one's an XF. So this one has a little bit of luster as well. Very strong example. Full horn, lots more detail. Uh, we have a couple very nice proof Kennedys. Uh, very nice high-end examples. 1977S, frosty, deep cameo. Beautiful coin. I mean, honestly, you could grade something like this. Uh, they, this is a recent set break, so that the person that owned this set had a lot of high-end uh, coins that they had cherry-picked. Here's a 92S, beautiful. The uh, the scratch you see, by the way, is on the flip and not on the coin. So if I did this, you'll see that it shifted over. So it's on the flip. There you go. And I replaced the flips on a lot of these. Some of them are in older kind of like two by twos or maybe other uh, plastic flips. So they've all been replaced. They're all, all in brand new flips. Okay, now we're on to Jefferson Nichols. We have a very, very stunning 1950D key date. Um, Jefferson Nickel, very nice toning. I mean, this this is one of my more high-end 1950Ds I've ever showcased on my uh, streams. So we'll have that one. One lucky winner will own that one. Uh, we have a ton. I would say not a ton, but we have plenty of war nickels, and they're all in really nice condition. Here's the 1942P with a little bit of toning on the obverse. Brilliant un uncirculated specimen. Uh, we have a few jemmies in there as well. How about this one? 1945, Denver. Stunning, beautiful coin. How about this one? 1945, I believe this is the S Mint. Choice gem. Brilliant, uncirculated, one of the finest specimens I have. Ungraded, by the way, that means you guys will save money. Here's another uh, really nice choice example, 1943S. Again, the S mints are very tough here, ladies and gentlemen. Every single coin starts at only $1 as well, okay? So... I'd love to say I give you guys an opportunity to win anything you need here. So it really depends on how badly you guys want it. Uh, 1942S. 
This is a really nice RPM, number five, it's stage B. I'll show you guys the photos uh, tomorrow online as I get to this coin. But stunning example. And you guys will like this one as well. 1944D, double to die obverse, number one, stage C. So this one even has some pretty nice toning on the reverse there, as you can see. But this is a beautiful, beautiful double die. That's why it's DDO number one. Throwing in a uh, quick little 1964 Kennedy in there. Okay, just a kind of average grade piece, maybe AU plus, low mint state, nothing too crazy. Uh, my wife found this one. Uh, beautiful early date. Um, you know, kind of like good condition, 1917S, Walking Liberty half dollar. All right, and always nice to have a nice early date of that. Uh, so what we have next are going to be some pretty nice featured coins, but this is going to be kind of like the private reserve area of coins. Uh, some, of the, some of the greatest that I've, uh, well, actually, uh, I got a few others to talk about here. Well, we're going to get to the pri private reserve stuff. Uh, so I have one of these. Um, my wife gave me this one to sell on to the uh, stream for Friday night. 2016 Prue set. This is the big chunky three lens set. Um, this set is amazing looking. Comes with a certificate. So you have the, uh, the five base coins there. Uh, the penny, nickel, dime, half dollar, and dollar. Sacagawea, and that's the reverse there on the Native American dollar. You have the five ATB quarters. So you got the Harper's Ferry, Shawnee, Cumberland Gap, Theodore Roosevelt, and then Fort Moultrie. Beautiful gem cameos. And then you have the three presidential dollars, Gerald Ford, Nixon, and Ronald Reagan. The last couple uh, to... Um, finish out the uh, the series but yeah this is this is a big dog right here so all three lenses on this proof set and again this is the clad proof set very very limited mintage i think only about four hundred thousand of this one was uh, produced very very low we also have a couple sms sets and other related stuff here so we have a 1967 special mint set check this one out so you have the half dollar, quarter, dime, nickel. Check out the cameo contrast on that one. That is sexy. And the Lincoln scent. So when we flip it over, you're going to see that the cameo carries over to the reverse there on that nickel. That's going to be the one that drives the value of this whole set. I've been waiting to sell this one because it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a bomb for sure. Uh, and then someone will probably want to crack this out of here and, and grade that one separately. That could be a monster coin. So we have the 67 SMS. We also have a 65 SMS in the envelope. No cameos in this one, but that's what that one looks like there. Comes with a little plastic medallion. Great looking set there, along with the 44 or the 40% Kennedy, uh, which comes in all the SMS sets. And what's also cool, uh, we have a, um, a full set of war nickels, 42 to 45 with all the mint marks on this really cool looking card and it's in this holder. Uh, all circulated coins in this set, so it'll be a nice, more affordable way of obtaining every single one for a set. And I love this old World War II uh, painting right here. Um, yeah, it looks like a Norman Rockwell, really, really nice. So now here's our kind of like, kind of like reserved nicer stuff for tomorrow night. Uh, so one of the bigger varieties that's going to be offered for uh, tomorrow night, so it'd be the 1965 Kennedy half dollar. This is a special mint set coin right there. Gorgeous. And you can tell it's the FS103, the doubled profile so when I turn the coin over, you could see that Kennedy's face is doubled all the way up front. The eyeballs, front of the face, you know, you have a little doubling here in the motto as well. This is the big one. This is one of the biggest varieties in the Kennedy Half Dollar Series. And then we have one available for you 
And if you pick this one up, you'll also receive the original SMS set with the other four coins in there. So it's uh, you're still getting a full set, including the big dog. <clears throat> this is a uh, wifey special. I, she pulled this rabbit out of the hat. Uh, 1917 Denver with a mint mark on the obverse. Mintage of, of just over 700,000 pieces. Now, this is a, uh, a low ball example, probably AG condi condition. But still, the, these are very highly coveted across all grades. From the low ball... They, it's, they actually get very expensive in low ball condition because people grade these and do low ball sets. I think a, uh, a poor one, 1917D, I think ended up selling for over a grand a few years ago. And there hasn't been too many since. But this is a really nice low end piece here. Um, and uh, still very, very pricey in this condition. Another low ball example, but these were made to, made to be used. 1876, Carson City, Seated Liberty Quarter. Very awesome, problem free. Again, you're probably in that AG con condition here with this one. Um, and still, still very desired in that, in that grade state. So if you're looking for an affordable non-Morgan Carson City, that's not gonna, going to uh, rip a big hole in your wallet. This one might work. This one's pretty too. Uh, 1956 braided hair large scent. And this one also has the slanted five variety in the date. Gorgeous XF condition coin. Why buy graded, right? And it's problem free also. Very nice solid chocolate brown. XF 45-ish type grade on this one. I love that one. For you silver bugs out there, we have uh, 2022, fresh out of the roll, Austria Philharmonic, triple nine fine one ouncer. Uh, here's a couple more of our featured coins for tomorrow. Uh, original set break 1977S, Eisenhower dollars. These are stunners. I'm sure there's going to be someone that's going to want to grade these. If they come out a perfect 70 grade, which they might, uh, these things are immaculate. Uh, they'll be worth thousands of dollars. So someone might take a flyer on that, but you can see just a deep cameo contrast there. And another featured coin here as well, 1974S. Ike Dollar. Man, these things are beautiful. Stunning. Again, fresh set break from a collector who cherry-picked through hundreds of of proof sets in the hopes of finding the perfect Ike dollars. And here's two of them right here from that same collection. Uh, we do have a, um, a coin here um, that I had purchased from Proud Ma 2 on whatnot. And this is going to be the, uh, the focus coin for the show tomorrow where I will donate 50% of the proceeds to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I had done one of these uh, similarly uh, about a month and a half ago that went really well and uh, St. Jude's benefited uh, with a, you know, like 150 bucks from two coins that we ended up selling. Uh, so the proceeds from this one singular coin, 50% of that will go to uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital. All right, so it's a 2017S. Silver, Ozark, Riverways, perfect NGC proof 70, 70 Ultra Cameo, early releases, 10 coin silver proof set piece right there, stunner. Couple more coins, guys. We got a 1995 DDO FS101, mid state 66 red through NGC. Such a pretty coin. We got close, might be able to see the doubling on Liberty. And the motto, In God We Trust, unmistakable doubling. One of the greatest double dies in Lincoln Cent series to date. We do have another large set, this time in 1955. Uh, this is the Upright five, Fives variety, graded PCGSXF40. Again, due to popular demand, and I can't find enough of these. 
for the auctions. We have a nice problem-free example, much like the 56 that we saw previous. Glad to have this one here. Another nice highlight coin. This is a, a one ounce silver, like you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, this is probably one of the more unique pieces I've ever featured on my live auction events. It's a 2022 United Crypto States one ounce silver round. That is, uh, its value is tied directly to um, Bitcoin, uh, which is pretty cool. It's, it's different. Uh, NGC Proof 69 Ultra Cameo is the great on that. And this one has the crypto hologram on the reverse, as you can see right there. Uh, this one has a 1000 Satoshi kind of face value. Uh, even has the Bitcoin equivalent, 0. 0.00001 Bitcoin is what this one's worth. And it's dated 2022. It says AG999 right there. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful design, by the way, right here. Uh, that's kind of like the best look, looking Lady Liberty-like type of effigy uh, that you could lay eyes on. It's beautiful in person. Um, but this is a, uh, a high-end premium um, coin or silver or something like that. I don't even know who would buy this. Either it's going to be a stacker or a numismatist. Uh, but if you want something truly different, this is the one right here. And uh, speaking of rare scares, how about this thing? Uh, it's an undated, well, it says 1855, which is the date they used on here, but it's a uh, Nevada City Mint Liberty, part of the Don Schmitz collection. Don Schmitz actually operated the Carson City Mint Press number no. one uh, back in the 70s, where he produced metals and other stuff like that for, uh, for um, the gift shop back in the day. Uh, but this is one of the prototypes. This is one of only 40 known annex graded mid-state 63. So it's got the old uh, double eagle, Li Lady Liberty-like type of uh, design here on the obverse. And this is silver, triple nine fine silver. Um, the back is plain, as you can see, it's like a poured, uh, poured blank right there. Really cool. Again, a, a rarity. You know, uh, once this is gone, I'll never find another one again. It, it's it's that hard. It's kind of like the uh, uh, the Felix Schlage nickels I sold last week. Yeah, the, this one's much more rare, and I would I would imagine that this is gonna you know um, garner quite a bit of interest on tomorrow's show. Um, so really cool. Great looking lot of coins for tomorrow. Uh, I welcome you guys to uh, come by. Oh, by the way, the um, the Crypto States one ouncer will come also with the original box. So it's uh, it's a hollow kind of deal here. Show you what this looks like. No, I'm not having issues at all. <laughs> so uh, pretty nice, fancy, fancy looking box here. So the lid comes off. That's normally where the coin would be. It's actually in a uh, little lens. Um, but let's see. On the uh, the top, there's a uh, QR code for more information. Plus, it gives you the information on uh, how many was made and things like that. Uh, just a really overall unique kind of piece um, for someone that's interested. So you get the original box along with the, the graded coin as well set up. I'll be in one, one lot there. But that's it. Hey, you know what? There might even be a few more surprises. We might add more stuff into this one. Like I just noticed, we don't have any Morgan dollars. And we are usually good for maybe a few Morgan dollars like we normally are. So we'll see. We might add them in there. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, pretty stacked lineup. We have in total almost 60 lots for tomorrow night. So I welcome you guys to check things out. Uh, you know, again, if you're brand spanking new, go ahead and check out that referral link. It's easy to sign up, grab your $15 in credit, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow night. So until then, you guys take care, have a great evening, and uh, thank you all again for all your views and support, and I'll see you. Take care.